That's a pretty color. Set your eyes off. Thank you. Yeah, that's the color I'd buy for you. Oh, my. Yeah. You must be one of those lady lawyers. Good defense. That's a pretty color. Set your eyes off. Thank you. Yeah, that's the color I'd buy for you. Oh, my. Yeah. Used to be one of those lady lawyers. Good defense. No, I'm not a lawyer. Well, see? We've got something in common. I'm not a lawyer either. I've never seen. The only time you need to buy them new is when you don't know nothing about engines. Don't do that, Mom. I got it all organized. You're gonna mess it up. I won't find anything. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was organized. Hello. Hello. Okay. Well, when will he find out? All right. Well, just tell him. To... No, you call me. You find out and you call me. All right. Tomorrow or tonight. All right. Bye. Hey, you know Nina's coming over to pick you up. She just called for you. Got home. Oh, I forgot. We're going out for dinner. All right, well, I'll go ahead and start yours. Oh, you go get dressed. I'll do that. Uh-uh, you won't make a salad. I'll make a salad. But will you eat it? Yeah, sure, I'll eat it. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, I can cook just as good as you can. Okay.
He said he cooks just as well as I do, and I think he's right. He made spaghetti and garlic bread and a salad. I mean, it looked delicious. I would have eaten it myself. I was watching him, and suddenly I felt totally obsolete, totally unneeded. You know what I mean? I certainly do. Do you remember the time I walked in on Eddie with that girl? Hmm. Well, that's the first thought that went through my head. I may be old enough to... Old enough. My life just seems to be... slipping by. <laughs> Listen, you know what that lawyer said to me, the one I went out with the other day? You must have been gorgeous when you were young. What did you say? What do I look like now, Dame May Whitty? No. I'm afraid I said thank you. What was I going to say? I don't know what's happening to me, Nina. I don't know where I am. I don't know what I want. I don't know anybody that I want to be with. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, Maggie. I wish I had the answer. But right now, we are going to Alfredo's. And we are going to think positive, right? Right. No husbands, no little kids, no attachments, no one to answer to. <sighs> Free to be you and me. Terrific malacotti. Nina. Nina, you promised me we were going to have a nice quiet dinner together and just talk. Shh. There is no reason why we cannot eat dinner and meet somebody nice. I don't want to meet anybody. That's exactly why I brought you here. Now you behave yourself. Smile. Mrs. Taggart. Hello, Mary. I'd like to meet my friend, Mrs. Kane. Enchanté, madame. Le plaisir est à moi. What she said? Beats me. Look, uh, your table's not quite ready. Why don't I show you the piano, okay? Fine. Mambo peep. When the saints go by. Can I get you something? A uh, martini dry straight up. Double on it. Got it. I'm sorry, uh, my name is Dan Sawyer. Could I buy you girls, ladies, a drink? Oh, yes, no, thank, thank you. you. Uh, I think you ladies ought to get your story straight. I, I think so, too. <laughs> Table's ready. Oh, oh what a disappointment. Uh, I, mean, I guess we just have to go straight on into dinner. I mean, that is if there's room for three at your table. I just hate to see anybody dine alone. We could put another chair at the table. Yes, we could. I'll stand by. What are you doing? I like him. Don't 
tell me your friend was trying to arrange separate checks? No, just a formal introduction. Poor thing doesn't get out much. Only on Fridays. <laughs> That's what happened to you in the war. No, that's what happened when you <laughs> came home. Oh, I We're, see. That's another story. So, I had these, I had these fantasies about um, Sawyer and Son, wholesale, retail, a little bit. Less. Uh, but he didn't want to go into his old man's business. So, what can you do? I now have a son who has an MBA from Berkeley, and he's raising goats in Petaluma. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> how, how old is your son? Eddie is. 20. Oh, no, I don't believe that. Thank you. Oh, my. <laughs> does, uh, does he still live with you? Or? Well, uh, he's away at college most of the year now, but he spends summers at home. As a matter of fact, he's coming home tomorrow. Oh, well, then, then um, that makes this your last night of liberty, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Now, he's not going to say anything in front of you, Maggie. He's too much of a gentleman. Hmm. I find him delightful. How about he's got all of his hair? <laughs> See my pretty, pretty shadow? Looks like new Beaujolais. Looks like old purple to me. Ah, oh, heretic. Vogue magazine is going to cancel your subscription for talking mm -hmm. like that. Now, look, here's the plan. You take my car with you tonight. Bring it back in the morning when you come to play tennis, OK? Maggie. I am 40 years old. I am allowed to do obvious things. Nobody is looking. Nobody cares. OK. Listen, as long as Eddie is uh, home, why don't I bring Ricky over? We'll play mother son doubles. Mm. Big time for Great. Long time no see. How long has it been? Two years. Well, you're all grown up. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Rick. How are you? Hi. How's it going? I have a sensational idea. How about a game of tennis? Good thinking. Follow me. All right. We're going, going to be. Oh, no. 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 Oh, Thousand dollars a year at Princeton. They forgot how to play tennis already. <laughs> okay. Well, you know he has to enter with an architect before he can be certified, and you know that one summer with you he'd learn more than he could ever learn at that overpriced pile of bricks back east. Well, you see the plans he drafted. The way I used to feel when you made me read my school essays at parties. Yeah. Oh. Well, at least you didn't have to sing. I mean, lots of my friends had to sing. No, I had to sing too. <laughs> So, who asked you to be brilliant? You. Oh. What goes here? Oh, um, it's meant to be a side pool. I, I wanted to try and make the house look sort of like an island. I mean, I don't know if it would work or anything. Oh, it works. I just used it on a house I did. Well, you see, great minds think alike. Now, you could do a lot worse than to have him intern with you for the summer. You'd make a neat team. Mom, you're sounding like a mother. Oh, Ed's got some notions about using family connections. No, I just think you ought to make it on your own, that's all. Your mother's right, but this is how you make it on your own. I'll see what I can do. Oh, that's terrific, Maggie, thanks. Just underpay him and he'll be fine. How I ever managed to raise an idealist, I will never know. <laughs> I wonder what's keeping Harry the hands. Nothing. Hey, Rick, how you doing? Hi, 
Hi, pretty good. Hello, sugar, and do you look great. How you feeling? Fine, uh, Harry. How about yourself? Couldn't be better. And the first cluster of condominiums just started going up, and uh, they look great, too. You're doing really nice work. Well, hey, she always does nice work. You got yourself quite a fan club there. Yes, I do. Well, what do you say we start stepping now, huh? Oh, sure. Hey, have yourself a nice evening, kid. You too. I love the way you smell. It's lovely out today, isn't it? It's a hell of a lawsuit, I'll tell you that. But you know, when you got them by the... Well, when you have the opportunity just handed to you, sometimes you gotta squeeze a little, teach them a little respect. Did you see that? I tell you, there are people on this road who never passed a driver's test right in front of that guy. He never even looked. Listen, how'd you like to come up to Reno, see your work in progress? I got a lot of space up there. You could uh, play tennis or golf or something at the country club, lay around the pool, relax, let your hair down a little. Do you good to get away. Would you like that? And the master bedroom's got plenty of room for two. Easy. Thanks, Harry. But Ricky likes to have his own bedroom. You know, you baby that boy too much. When I was his age, I'd had my first dock split. It's time he grew up a little. Besides, I'm working on house. But thanks. Just for the weekend. Thank you, Harry. But after all, you are a client and we have a business relationship. Not that you're not an attractive person. I just think we should keep it that way. You know, it's a funny thing. Women usually ask me places. One lady just last week called me up in Reno, asked me to come down to spend the weekend with her in Palm Springs. Really? Mm -hmm. You should have gone. <laughs> she doesn't have your class, Maggie. I want you to catch a cold now. Thank you. I'm not cold. Yeah, that's been a little chatted. Ladies always seem to prefer looks to comfort, though. I have to admit that it sets off your figure pretty nicely, and you still have a mighty trim little figure, Maggie. Thank you, Harry. <laughs> You turned me on so damn much. Thank you, Harry. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't I go inside with you for a minute? We can have just one drink, sit around in the living room, talk. I've had a lovely evening, but thank you. Well, we don't have to make love or anything. I'm not pressuring it. No, I know you're not. You never do. That's why I like you. Maggie, you're too old to play so hard to get. Harry, you're too old to play. Well, good night, Maggie. I'll see you. Good night, Harry. Draftsmen, sundry other people. We have a summer intern. Ed Taggart, this is Michael Smith. Hi, how are you? Howard Duquette. Hello. Alan Nakamura. Uh, where are you going to school? Uh, well, I'm, I'm in Jersey right now. Princeton. Uh, yeah, I'm afraid so. <laughs> Thought I smelled ivy. Oh. <laughs> Can you do me a favor and lay that pool in on that project for me before lunch? I suppose so. Good. If you have any problems, just ask Ed to help you. He did one for his assignment. Oh, has he? Yes. Ed, why don't you come over here? Use this desk. Okay. If you need any supplies or any advice, I know they'll help you. Gentlemen, I leave him in your hands. Take good care. Oh, we will. Hi, sweetie. Wow, look at you. You look great. Well, of course. What's for dinner?
for dinner? I don't know. Consuelo's making something. I didn't look to see. Edward, a very important question. Am I wearing too much blusher? I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, damn it. That means I am. Was Maggie nice to you today? Yeah, she was. She set me up with my own desk, my own drafting table, everything. Uh, Consuelo! I now, heard it. I'm coming. Don't talk too much about yourself. Going on about me, me, me gets boring, boring, boring. Yes, I know. Hi, Dan. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, this must be him. I mean, that's got to be Eddie. Because uh, your mom said you were a very good-looking fellow. You were a good-looking oh. fellow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how do you do? I'm Hello. Dan Sawyer. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Oh, boy. Um, your mom talks a lot about you. Yeah, boring, boring, boring. Uh-huh. Family joke. I've got a son, too, uh, about your age. Oh, he's a little older. No. Really? Oh, yeah. He went to college. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's nice. Uh, uh, you're at Harvard, right? At uh, Princeton. Princeton, I... Right. I should remember that. I'm sorry. Well, uh, <laughs> oh. But, I mean, it, it's co-ed there now, isn't it? Uh, well, actually, the joke is that it's a uh, dogged. Yeah, like uh, dogged. Um, see, we have to study all the time, so we're very dogged. But the girls are all dogs, so the school is dogged. It's not really very funny. No, it really isn't. Oh, I think it is. I mean, it's a very good, educated play on words. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm ready. I'm ready. Well, have a good time. Thank, Thank you. you. And I promise I'll bring your mom home plenty of time. No, no, please. Uh, keep her out as late as possible. Did I bring my kid up right? I certainly did. No, I know, I know, I saw it. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Just checking. Hi. Hi, sweetie. How was your day? Just fine, just fine. You going very far? Another mile if I can last. Yeah. Without trainer wheels. <laughs> hey, Mom? Yeah. Is Maggie going with anyone? Not right now. Why? I don't know. Just, just curious. After the divorce, she went with a guy about uh, five years, but it didn't work. I wonder why. Give me that. It's hard to be 43. To be mistakes. Guess who's in town? George Jackson. My favorite. Well, he's your baby. I told him we'd comp dinner tonight. Jeannie can handle our reservations. Oh, Paul, please. I don't want to have to go through this again. Well, I can't bail you out every time a client makes a pass. Now, you should know how to handle a guy like this by now. Uh, Maggie, um, tonight's Mom's birthday, remember? And uh, we're all going to see that new play. I mean, she's got the tickets and everything, remember? Oh, I had totally forgotten. Oh, Paul, she's my best friend. Mm. 
It's great. Just wonderful. I guess that means I'm stuck with him. Better you than me. Oh. Put it there, partner, and thank you very much. You're quick on your feet. Well, now, of course, we've got to go see a play. I mean, you don't want to make a liar out of me. Oh, no. M me? By no means at all. I'll call Ricky and we'll have him join us. Oh, uh, actually, I was thinking maybe, we, you know, we could go by ourselves. I mean, you know, you got me a job and everything. I'd like to do something nice for you. And there is a new play. It got very good reviews. And... Would you like to? Oh, all right. That sounds very nice. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. How can you go into the play with Ed? To tell you the truth, I didn't want to spend another evening fighting off Harry Jackson. Well, if that was the case, you know, I could have gone with you. You've gone to the ball game with your father. Yeah, I know. What's the matter? I don't know. It just seems funny you going with Ed. That's for you. Not for time. You too. Interesting. That bad. No, no, no. Just very different, I guess. It's not. Oh, it's not like real life. I mean, at least not, you know, not like real life the way I know it. Well, one person's reality is another person's fantasy. I mean, it's all relative, isn't it? I bet you like Bergman films. Some. Thank you for a lovely evening. Oh, I'll walk you to the door. That's not necessary. Well, uh, it's pretty dark out there. I'll be fine, really. Uh, Maggie, um, I had a wonderful time tonight. And I really enjoy working with you. Me too. It's been great fun. Uh, Maggie? Yes? Do you like ballet? I love it. Well, um... You know, Mom's got season tickets, and I was I was wondering if maybe, you know, if maybe you'd like to go with me. Don't you think you'd be more comfortable with someone your own age? No, I wouldn't. I, I mean, you know, it's, you know how hard it is to get someone just to talk to? You know, you get, they look at you with those blank little eyes, and you know they haven't heard a damn thing you've said. You know the kind? I mean, do you know what I mean? Those beady little pupils? Yeah. I know, I know. I mean, the neatest thing about about you is that you're smart. Beautiful might have been better. You are. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Maggie? Yes? Ballet is on Saturday. You mind if I think it over? Oh, no, sure, no, of no, 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 of course, you know, I mean, no, I mean, you know, if, if, if you don't want to go or anything, that's all right, you know, I, I understand. I mean, you know, you're pretty busy, I should have thought of that. Saturday night? Yeah. All right. Good night. Hi. Can you take a look at these? I really don't have the time now. Oh. I didn't mean to barge in. I just want you to take a look at them. I'm trying one of my own designs instead of using mics. Aren't you moving a little fast? Sorry, I'll do it over. That's the best part. This door is closed. They come up to the door, the door opens, and this hand comes out. At the end of the hand... Excuse me. Ed, I'm sorry I'm going to have to spoil your plans for the evening, but there's a project you're going to have to finish. Miller has ordered the preliminary sooner than I anticipated, so you'll have to stay and finish it for me tonight. Sure, of course. Okay, I'll have dinner sent in for you. 
Okay, um, I don't eat red meat, by the way. Oh, really? Well, then I guess you'll just have to settle for the cheese off the cheeseburger. Thanks for the fish sandwich. It looks awful. Yeah. At least they don't bleed. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. I was finished. Oh, I am sorry, you know. I didn't mean to upset you. Are you talking about the food? No. Well, if you don't say anything, then there won't be anything. Well, just for the record, I don't think it was wrong. I do. Why? You've got to be joking. You're my best friend's son. My own boy is practically your age. You work for me. I mean, it couldn't possibly be any worse. As long as we're not hurting anyone. I don't want to talk about it. But you're mad at me. No, I'm not mad at you. Oh, do I get a full pardon? Yes. Now, may I have some ketchup? Thank you. Here you go. I'll do it. Are you sorry it happened? There you go. Are we friends? Friends. Good, let's go roller skating tomorrow. Now, just a minute. How's that feel? Is it tight enough? Too what? tight? Tight enough? Too tight? What? Well, I don't know. How's it supposed to feel? Like it's supporting your ankle, but not putting your foot to sleep. Oh, well, I feel my feet. I don't know about the rest of your body. Well, you feel that later. I know, it'll be black and blue. <laughs> okay, lady. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> okay, right oh. face. Yeah, let's go. Doing fine. Whoa. <laughs> There you go, you see? It's not so hard, is it? Hey, this is okay. Of course, you're doing all the work. Nonsense, we're going downhill. There's no work to do. You know, we should have done this weeks ago. I haven't been down here to the beach all summer. <laughs> I haven't been to the beach in 10 years. I guess the last time was, was when Ricky was a kid. Yeah. Oh, look at the water. I'm glad we're friends again. Hey, okay, watch out. Watch out for the crack. Hey, good girl, all right. Wow, are you a good skater? Listen, you need salvation. It'll help uh -huh. you skate better. Really? Look at these boys walking along here like that. They take vitamins. They love it. Here, um, we can have vitamin F here. That's for, for, for the fraternal father, right? Uh -huh. Vitamin H here for the heavenly uh -huh. orbit. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, we'll yes, be sir. coming back this way a little bit. Huh? Uh, we'll, let, uh, we'll think about it and let you know. Would you okay? like to try one? It doesn't cost uh, you no, no, that's first thing. Right. I'll be no. here next time. You can get them for nothing next time. It doesn't cost a thing. We really, huh? Uh, I'll take one and try it later. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. What a character. He can take too many of his own pills. <laughs> and obviously all of us do. This is nice. I think we both better improve before we try that. Oh, I, I think you like it a lot. You are? Yeah. OK. Boy, will you try the surfing? You'll love that. Surfing I can Here do without. Oh. I don't need to get, I mean, it's beautiful to watch. Do you like to swim? Do you like the ocean? Oh, sure. OK, well, we'll go for a swim Who doesn't then. like the ocean? Sorry. Whoops. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the roller derby. Bread and butter. Two bread and butter. We're doing one side. Can I let go? Are you crazy? <laughs> Never. Every time I get too confident, I start to go. It's all right. I don't know. Okay, watch the crack. Just step right over. Oh, sailing along. That's what we'll have to do next. We'll go sailing. This is good. After the roller coaster, After, I no. take you sailing. No. Oh, yes. No. You 
her about to be attacked by the incredibly sadistic sex fiend, the jogging mugger. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mark? Mark! Mar <laughs> hey, you're sunburned. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, is Ricky upstairs? No, as a matter of fact, I came over to see if he wanted to go running with me, and, you know, he's got a date, he's gone out. So I thought I'd just kind of stick around and kind of say hello to you. <laughs> hello to you. Hello. Oh, I think, I think I pulled a good or something. You want to, uh, you want to go get some ice cream? No, thanks. You having trouble with your new wife? A little. Just that I wanted to talk to someone, that's all. Well, a lot of people might say that your ex-wife of seven years is not exactly the person to talk to. <laughs> Heck, Maggie, you know me better than anyone else. That's true. Okay. What's the matter? I'm afraid that is it right there. I, I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm bored. You know, I just... <laughs> I just... I haven't decided what I want to be when I grow up or anything, you know? I just... Well, I wouldn't worry about that. It's a long ways off. You're only 45. Yeah, well, I don't feel 45. You know, I feel like uh, I feel like I did when I was back in college. I feel like I, I still want to have a good time and everything. I turn around and I see Rose, and I know it's not nice, but she's old. She is definitely a uh, grown up, and that means I have to be. What she wants, buy, 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 a larger condominium, a longer fur coat. Now look at this, you see. Look at that. When I touch her, her skin is... She makes me feel old, and I don't want to feel old. trying to do? Break both legs? Hi. Listen, I have been looking all over for you. Well, here I am. So who is he? Who's who? Come on, it's got to be a man. What's got to be a man? Well, the grim, determined look on your face and you're back at the gym. <laughs> gotcha. What's my getting into shape got to do with a man? Why can't it be for myself? Well, it could be, but um, hardly ever is. How's the new love in your life? Oh, Maggie, Maggie, he is fabulous. Now, I know you're not crazy about him. I know he's not your type. But for me, he is so considerate. He is so loving. He's spontaneous, and he loves good wine. What more could you ask? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, who is he? Who's who? Well, I mean, what is his name? What does he look like? How tall, how old, how bald, how fat? None of the above. He's young. What? He said it's none of the above. I mean, he's got to be young, right? No. I mean, uh, it's just friendship. Haven't I always told you that when Mr. Wright comes along, you'd be the first one to know? You promise? It's got its honor. <laughs> Listen, you remember Michael Schrader? I give up. Who's Michael Schrader? Well, I told you about him. He's a real estate tycoon. I met him last winter in Jamaica. You remember him? Vaguely. Anyway, he called me. He said he was coming into town for a couple of weeks, was going to look around, and maybe move here. So, I thought I'd fix you two up. No. Maggie. I'm semi-retired. Maggie, I promise you will love him. No, I won't. And I'm going to the shower. Ta-da! 
Wow. You look terrific. You like it? Yeah. Where are you going? Ballet. Oh, with who? Ed. Ed? Oh, how come Ed? Because he asked me, that's how come. You got all dressed up just for Ed? No. I'm getting dressed up because I'm going to the ballet. If you have any taste when you go to the ballet, you get dressed up. How come you're not going with Nina? Because she didn't ask me, that's how come. Mm. Ed likes the ballet. Yes. I can't figure that. Well, I'm glad there are some things in this world that you can't comprehend. What time is your dad picking you up? Uh, about a half hour. Good. Have a nice time. Oh, are you staying over tomorrow night again, or are you going to come home tomorrow afternoon? No, I'll be home tomorrow. Good. Have a nice time. Tell him I said hi. All right. Oh, you look terrific anyway, Mom. Thank you. I'm not used to being with a woman like you. Most of the girls that I go out with can't make any decisions. I don't know 
what they want for dinner. They can't pick a movie on their own. They can ask me what they ought to wear. Well, maybe they're just trying to please you. How long was it before you knew exactly what it was you wanted? I don't know that I ever did. I think it was probably just a series of binary choices, you know, this and that, this and that. All the little decisions seem to have been made for me. And, uh, here I am. You know I want to kiss you. I wonder why it got so quiet in here. Don't answer that. Did you think I would? I was hoping you wouldn't. Hello? No, no, I'm up. I was, I was just in the shower. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I can't. I have plans that I can't change today. Uh, dinner tomorrow night? No. Oh, no, I just remember there's something I, 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 I have to do. Um, uh, uh. Don't do that, please. Uh, how about lunch tomorrow? Where? All right. Uh, and I, I'm sorry. We'll talk about everything then. Bye-bye. I was going to let you sleep. Who was that? That was Ricky's father. His wife just walked out on him. I thought you said that he was planning to leave her. He was. Mark is just the type of person that doesn't like to have people make those kinds of decisions for them. Good morning. Good morning. Uh. I thought it would elicit a snide remark. No, no. I, I mean, I think it looks good like that. It's just been a long time since I've seen it that way. So. Well, it's been a year since I've worn it down. It looks good. I was... I was thinking about doing something with my hair. Why? You look handsome. Yeah, I, I know. No, it's, it's the white in it. That's all. I think I'm going to have to color it or something. Believe me, nobody's excited about going out with an older man these days unless it's to pick up the dinner tank or something. I think you look wonderful. I tell you, living down at that marina. Do you think I'm too old to start to go out with younger gals? I'm sorry about you and Rose. It's not going to be fun living alone. Cheaper. Oh, be serious. Why? It's depressing. Because you're the one that wanted to talk. I know, but I, I feel good now. I feel a lot better. <laughs> Do you think it, I'd look foolish going out with some of those young gals? Would I look foolish going out with a younger man? You're right. I see the point. Do you? Yeah, yeah. No, and every girl I go out with will be at least 30 years old. That's your problem. Hey, you know, you could pass for 30 with your hair down like that. Thank you. I mean it. I'll tell you the truth. You're looking pretty doggone good. Hey, what are you doing tonight? I got a date. No, I mean, you know, we can kind of get together. I got a date. No, no. With a man? No, with an orangutan. Oh. You got some new guy you're going with, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes. Is it serious? It's new. It's fresh. I'm happy. I guess you could say that someone came into my life at just the right time. Well, well, well. I haven't heard you talk like that in a long time. It's been a long time since I felt like that. Could this be love? Hmm?
let alone the price of meat. Hi. Sorry, car parked in the driveway. I was wondering how you'd get home. What happened to Sears Point? Why? Well, I thought that's where you were going. Well, Chris's mom wouldn't let him go. Ed, I'm going to be fixing dinner. Would you like to stay? Uh, no, thanks. I better get on home. I just want to make sure you got your groceries. Thank you. And thank you for the ride. Anytime. Take care, Rick. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Right. Bye-bye. You know, I could have gotten those groceries for you. If you'd asked. Hi, Maggie. Listen, I'm sorry to bother you at the office, but you have been impossible to reach lately. Well, you must be. Listen, how about dinner? Oh, uh, well, lunch? Boy, you've got to be busy. Well, look, uh, don't, don't let it uh, take too long, okay? I miss you. I'd like to see you. Okay. Some guy. I don't understand why you refuse to talk about him. What is he, underage? Listen, did you know that 40 year old women and 20 year old men are sexually perfect together? No, listen to me. Margaret Mead was always going on about some Indian tribe in Argon years ago. It seems that the older woman would marry a younger man, and then they would have a ball, then she would conveniently drop dead, leaving him all her property. He would marry a young woman. Then he would die, and she would marry a younger man. The cycle was repeated. Everybody was very happy. Why the hell are you so preoccupied with this? Why don't you just drop it? Maggie, I didn't mean to upset you. I'm sorry. Listen, I think it's terrific. You want to know the truth? I may be a little bit jealous, OK? I have to go. Wait a minute. How about some lunch? No, I can't. Why, right, where are you going? <laughs> going to Sunnyside Park.
doesn't mind? He's my friend. Hi, come on in. Hey, come Roger. On in. Yeah, Good to see you. Good to see you, buddy. Oh, uh, Roger, this is Maggie Kane, Roger Olcott. Hi, hi, Maggie. It's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, well, uh, come on in, come on in. Sit down, sit down. Oh. Well, can I get either one of you something to drink? I have uh, spring water, I've got fruit juice. How about some more? Oh, I, I think a couple of glasses of wine would be lovely. Fine, fine. Uh, why eat her, Rick? Uh, yeah. No, well, whatever you have open. <laughs> okay. This is so bad, isn't it? Oh, no, it's nice. What do you suppose he thinks about this? Nothing. It's all right. Don't worry. All right. Mademoiselle. Thank you. Edwards. Thank you. This is a nice place that you have here. Oh, thank you. I did it myself. Oh. Well, I have some errands to run. I'll leave you two alone. Be back, I guess, in what, uh, two hours? Oh, yes, that'd be fine. Thank you. Okay. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you, Maggie. Yeah, pleasure to meet you. Uh, Roger? Thanks. Hey, feel free. Like some music? That would be nice. Very well. Bonjour, mon ami. Comment allez-vous? Bonjour, mon ami. Comment allez-vous? And your answer? My answer is... I'm fine, thank you. Très bien, merci. Très bien, merci. Let's warm up with the vowel sound. All right, you got it. Ah. Ah. Hi. Repeat that for me, please. Hi. Hey, did you have a nice day? Sure did. Mwah. Where'd you go? Sunnyside Park. What's this? Language of the week here? Where'd you go with? Uh, just a friend. Who? A girl. Julia Rogers. Well, I thought she was married. I oh, know she's divorced. Look, I've got to go change. I'll Wait see Wait a minute. Where are you going? I hardly ever see you anymore. Sorry. Well, can't we get together? Uh, look, let's have lunch tomorrow. I can't. I've got a lunch date tomorrow. Um, with Julia Rogers, in fact. Look, we'll get together. I promise, okay? Au revoir.
Salisbury and Associates. <clears throat> uh, hello, um, Ed Taggart, please. Oh, I'm sorry, he's at a meeting. Oh, uh, well, uh, this is his mother. Do you know what time he'll be back? Uh, sometime after lunch. Uh-huh. Uh, may I speak to Margaret Kane? Well, they went to the meeting together. I see. Uh, well, uh, it's very important that I, I speak with him. Would you tell me, please, where the meeting is? They said they'd be at the Drake Hotel. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm terribly concerned about those pylons and the foundation site. Mm -hmm. I'm, the excavation is what has me worried about the whole oh, thing. Wait a minute, Maggie, wait for me just a sec. I'm going to go register. No. What? I'm going to go register us into a room. Are you crazy? Suppose somebody from the office sees us. Who's going to see us? Don't worry about it. I'll be discreet. Disc Uh, yes, please. I'd like a room. Your name? Ta Talbot. John Talbot. You have a reservation? No. No, I forgot to make one. Oh, single or double? Double, please. I'm with someone. I'm with my wife. I'm with my wife over I there. See. Fill us out, please. Maggie? Hi, Michael. Hi. How are you? Great. What are you doing here? What am I? I'm, um, I'm waiting for a client who's uh, here from Canada. <clears throat> have you got time for a drink? Uh, no, gee, I'm sorry, I don't. I'm uh, going to have lunch. Can we do it another time, Michael? Sure. Hey, good to see you again. It's nice to see you, too. Bye -bye. How long will you be staying? Uh, just one day, night, one night. May I have your credit card? Credit card? Yes, we need a credit card. I don't have a credit card. You don't have a credit card. No, see, what happened was all my credit cards got uh, stolen. And um, I haven't had a chance. I'm sorry, sir, but without a credit card, we're not allowed to rent a room. It's policy. Well, what, what, what about cash? Cash. Cash, yeah. I, I could pay cash in advance for the room. Oh, very well. That'll be uh, $55. Uh, yes. Uh, of course. Um, I'll have the bellman get the luggage for you. Oh, no, that's all right. I'm traveling light. Thank you. Vicky? Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <gasps> don't do that to me. You know, I gave him a phony name. I don't even know why I did it. It just sort of slipped out. I hope I spelled it right. Well, I hope you spelled it right, too. But uh, would, you, would you like me to go upstairs first and then you can follow? Or would, would you rather go up first and then I'll follow? Let's just go upstairs. Mother? Where were you at lunch? Lunch? Edward. I was at the hotel. I saw you with Maggie. It's you, isn't it? Oh, my God, it's you. Why didn't I know about this? How could I not have noticed? My God, I've hardly seen you all summer. Well, it's all my fault anyway. Well, no, wait, look, this isn't anybody's fault. No, 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 fault. the point is, what do we do now? I know. Maybe a letter. That way, neither of us has to talk to her. Now, that's terrible. It'll be in writing. Oh, my good friend Maggie, little Miss Muffet. Well, okay, all right, I'll, uh, I'll talk to her. Well, I will talk well, to no, her. No, wait a second, there's nothing to talk about. There is plenty to talk about. What, are you telling me that I can't see her that again? That is exactly what I am telling no you. No way! 
This isn't Maggie's fault. It was my idea. I mean, she didn't exactly seduce me, you know. I know what she did. Shall I tell you what she is? Hey! I love her. Love? You're a kid. What the hell do you know? I'm 21! Not yet! Look, I'm old enough to know what I want. And I'm old enough to take care of myself. And I am certainly old enough for you to stay out of my life. Eddie. She's my age. She is my age. Hello. Maggie. Hi. Look, something's happened. What's the matter? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I think Mom's on her way over to your place right now. She knows. She what? She knows about us. She saw us at the hotel. Oh, God, I knew this was going to happen. I think I better come over. I'll be there in a few minutes, all right? No. I mean, no, no, no. I'll, I'll handle it. Are you sure? Yeah, it's better if I talk to her alone. She's pretty angry. I'll talk to her. Okay. I'll call you later. I love you. I know. Bye. Come in. I don't know where to begin. You can begin by leaving my son alone. It isn't that simple, and I'd like you to try and understand this. Oh, I understand only too clearly. I thought you were my friend. Oh, Nina, I am your friend. You call sneaking around behind my back, seducing my son friendship? Are you aware that you're behaving like a 16-year-old irresponsible schoolgirl? Are you aware that you're almost my age? I mean, if it weren't so sleazy, it would be laughable. It isn't sleazy, and it isn't laughable, and that's just so unfair. Unfair? How long have I known you, trusted you, respected you, and now you take that friendship and use it to have a romance with my son? You know he's the most important thing in my life. You know that he's the only really... the really good thing in my life. Nina, I'm sorry. Maggie! I don't want your sympathy. I don't want your concern. I don't want anything from you. Look, I'm sorry that you found out this terrible way, and I'm sorry that you're hurt. Believe me, that, that, that means everything to me in the world. And if at this very moment I could undo everything that's happened these past few months, I would. But I can't, because it's happened. And I love him. A 20-year-old boy oh. barely out of his teens. I don't believe this. It's like a nightmare. Maggie, I love Ricky. He is your son. I have watched him grow up, but I wouldn't jump into bed with him. I am not going to let you do this. I am not going to let you take what happened between Ed and me and make it into something dishonest and shabby, because it isn't. We didn't plan it. It happened. And it is something beautiful and warm oh, and God, honest, and I please. am not going to let you pervert what happened because of your jealousy. My jealousy? Yes. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous! Why would I be jealous of you? Oh, you'd be jealous of anyone that he fell in love with. You've planned your whole life around him. You have never accepted the fact that he'd find someone and leave you reduced to the role of a mother who would, who would get a phone call once a week and, uh, and have an occasional Sunday night dinner and maybe get a birthday card once a year. Well, it's sad, but that's life. And you better get used to it. I will, so long as that someone isn't you. I would rather die. Okay. We're just not getting anywhere. And we are going to say things that we can never, ever take back. So let's stop. I am not leaving this place until I know that you're never going to see it again. I can't give you that promise. Are you really going to let him throw his life away for a fling? How can you be so selfish? Why can't I be selfish? 
selfish for once in my life. Because you've already had your life. You've already had your career. Let him have his. Why can't I have the one thing that makes me happy? Why? Because he's my son, damn it! Maggie. No, Maggie. Maggie, don't you dare leave this room. Maggie, don't you dare leave me like this. Maggie! Don't you dare leave me like this! Does Mom know you're out here? I'll go get Mom. No, right? I'm Stay okay. Right. Stay right here. I'll get I'm okay. Mom? What happened? Did somebody die? No. Well, I saw Nina outside. We had a little argument. What about? About things. What kind of things? Look, Rookie, I don't want to talk about it, okay? It's about Ed, isn't it? Isn't it? It's about you and Ed. Ricky, I know this may be very difficult for you to understand, but Ed and I... Yes? I knew it. I knew it! Ricky, please, we like each other very much. There's nothing to him. He's just a college kid. That's not true. There's a great deal to him. He's very bright and he's very sensitive. Why, because he babbles on about ecology and he doesn't eat meat? They're all like that. He's only special to you because you don't know anything. Ricky, please, it's so important to me. It's the most important thing in the world that you understand this. Me understand? I understand. He's practically my age. What the hell has that got to do with anything? Nothing. Nothing at all! Hello. Has she left yet? Yes. Are you all right? No, I'm not. Are you? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Look, what happened? We had a terrible fight. And she's very upset. And there wasn't anything that I could say to make her understand this. I'm sorry. I am, too. And then Ricky found out, and he's gone to his dad's. No. Look, I'll be over right away, okay? No, don't come over. It's not a good idea, and I don't want to take any more of this tonight. I moved out of the house. What? Well, you couldn't very well expect me to stay there after everything that happened. You can't come here. It's just going to upset everybody further, all right? And I got a lot of thinking that I want to do. Well, what's to think about? Um, everything's out in the open. There's no need for us to go sneaking around anymore. That's just the point. We're hurting everybody that we love. I need some time. Well, I need you. Eddie, we both need time, so please try and understand that. What am I going to do? You can't come here. All right, if that's what you want. That isn't what I want. It's just what has to be. Look, I don't want to talk anymore right now, OK? OK? Okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. I went. 
Have you heard from him yet? Haven't heard a thing. How's Ricky doing? Oh, he's okay. He's a little disappointed with you, but we sat down and had a nice man-to-man -man talk, and he's fine. Did you care for a drink? I'll have a glass of white wine, thank you. Mark? Yeah, do this again for me. Sure. Well, how, uh, how old is this kid? He's 20, and he's not a kid. 20. He's 20. And I didn't realize, you know, that he's worth more than half your age. What do you want from me? You want to have me publicly flogged? No, I just don't like what you did to Ricky. I mean, I should think you could be a little more discreet. It's rather surprising coming from you. Why? We were married for nine years, remember? I was always discreet. And that means and I'm single. Maggie, your boy does not expect the same kind of behavior from his mother as he does from his father. That kind of narrow-mindedness just defies discussion. Well, that is a fact of life. I didn't come here to discuss your version of the facts of life. Well, why did you come here? Ricky, I want to see him. I want to talk to him. I want him to try and understand this, and I want him to come home with me. Well, he's a big boy now. He made the decision to come and live with me. You want to talk to him? If he decides to go back and live with you, that is fine with me. Honestly? Honestly. <clears throat> you say this is incredible. I can't believe that I'm sitting here having this kind of a... I mean, with you. Why is it so incredible to imagine that I could have a relationship with a younger man? Because it's, it's unusual. It's, uh, it's unconventional. Frankly, Maggie, it's... it's embarrassing. What makes it more embarrassing than the other way around? I don't know. That's the way it is. You, uh... You love this guy? Yes. But it's not, uh... It's not gonna be easy on you. I don't know, those single places are really depressing, you know? I mean, everybody's running around trying to prove how happy they are, but nobody really seems to enjoy being alone. Do you enjoy being alone? Sometimes I do, but most times I don't. Mm -hmm. Me neither. I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hi. Uh, it's for you. It's it. Thank you. Well, where are you? Why didn't you call and let me know that you were all right? I needed time. I... You were right. I've been doing a lot of thinking about us. Well, I'm glad, because we've got a lot to talk about. Let's get together. Now, if you can make it. Well, where are you? Wait now. Okay. I'll, um, uh, I'll get there as soon as I can. Is Ricky back? I mean, living with you? 
Yes. Well, that's nice. I'm glad that worked out. Me too. I'll see you as soon as I can. Bye. It's okay. I already decided before I came home that I'm not going to interfere with what you do. I mean, you got to be happy, too. I was really worried about what happened with you. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all right now. Maggie, I love you. And I want to marry you. Well, I'd, I'd ask you just to live with me first, but I know you'd feel funny about it. What about school? You have to go back in a couple of days. No. no I've thought about it. And I'm leaving school. I'm going to get a job with another architect. I, I thought you might be uncomfortable with me working for you under the circumstances. You going to drop out of school? I can go to night school. I love you. Oh, I do love you. I love you, Ed. I love you more than anything in the world. But this is impossible. It isn't going to work. It will work. You must, we must be realistic. And we have to think this out very clearly. Hey, well, no, wait a second. I have thought it out. children. Come on, I, that, I think that's being a little premature, no, don't you? I, no, I don't. In four or five years, you're going to want to have children, maybe ten years. And you should have them. I won't be able to give them to you. I've had my child. I already have my family. Maggie, you are all the family I need. What about your mother? Well, she'll just have to learn to accept that, won't she? All right, that's fair enough. What about Ricky? What about your friends and my friends? I mean, what do we do? Do we just tell the rest of the world to go to hell? Do we go live in a closet? Do we go off in splendid isolation? How long do you think we could exist under those kind of circumstances? It won't work. You're wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm older than you are. I'm old enough, oh. almost old enough to be your mother. I'm better educated. I'm more experienced. I'm smarter. I'm richer. And I'm a little wiser. I thought you said you loved me. I do. I love you. And nothing is ever going to change that. And what we had is wonderful and beautiful. It's a dream. And dreams end, Eddie. What are you saying? That it's over? It's over. Just like that? No, not just like that. It hurts. But that's the way it is. That's the way it has to be. 
What am I supposed to do? We can try and be friends. Well, I think that's going to be difficult. Do shake your hand. Maggie, I love you. I'll be right back. I'm glad you came. I didn't think you wanted me to. He just didn't have to ask you. Well, he can be pretty unforgiving, too. Maggie, I'd, I'd like to talk to him for a minute, okay? Of course. Mr. Von Zernick, please come to the courtesy of the main desk. Hi, Cookie. Hi. I wanted to come say goodbye, but I was afraid you'd, you'd slam the door in my face. I would never have done that. You're still my son. No matter what, I'm still my son. I love you. Oh, Eddie. I'm so sorry I wasn't more progressive. It's all over. Oh, uh, do you, uh, have everything? Yes. I better go. Bye, honey. for the 
plane to take off? Well, you want to? I will if you will. This is masochistic. Let's have a drink. That's the best idea I've heard all day. Yeah. I'm exhausted. I know. <laughs> I'm so glad you came. Oh, I lost some weight. Let me feel it. 